Well, individual awards are great, but uh, you look at uh, the success your line is having, uh, everything comes as a unit, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, again, Phil's been playing great all year. Um, Connolly's stepped in now with uh, with Bozak going down, and, and uh, it doesn't seem to matter who's been uh, centering us. They've both done, both done just a great job, so I um, have to give uh, a lot of the credit to my line mates for sure. Joffrey, at the midpoint of the season, is this team where you thought it would be? Probably somewhere around where we had, had hoped to be. I mean, um, you you want to be playing playoff games in home ice if, if possible, but but we've set ourselves up now that we can, uh, um, with a solid second half, we'll be in the playoffs. And, and now I think we, you start striving to uh, to really compete against some of those top teams, and teams like Boston, New York, and, and those guys if we want to uh, eventually get into that top tier. With back-to-back -back games against Buffalo, you got a chance to put real separation between the two teams, two of the rivals. Do you guys think about that? Getting, you know, 10 points is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they're a team that uh, um, they've had some big injury problems, and I think they're still pretty banged up right now. And, and uh, I mean, it's important to, to capitalize when uh, when teams are shorthanded like that, and, and you want to distance yourself as much as you can from them because, uh, again, they're probably going to get healthy and, and probably be playing some better hockey on the stretch. Mm -hmm. Can you recall what it was like last year when you guys were team chasing how difficult it is to get points in the second half and to make up ground? It's tough, yeah, especially with uh, with all the three-point games and and uh, it seems the second half of the year there's, you play even more in conference. So last year, it, I mean, we were winning four out of five games, it felt like, and and only gaining a point or two on teams, so it, it, it can get pretty frustrating if you get uh, if you get back there. If you were to uh, handicap the fastest players on this team, we don't get a skills competition this year. I mean, Phil seems to be at the top of the list, but uh, it'd be pretty close there or after that. For the uh, probably Lombardi can fly. He seems to be uh, just he just noticed it in practice, and now in the. Um, now that he's getting healthy, and, and you've really noticed him the past couple games with uh, uh, with just being a guy that uh, has a lot of speed. What kind of impact has Dion had on this team from a leadership standpoint? It's big. I mean, when you see a guy get hit like that uh, or, or get injured and, and then come and play, I mean, it would have been pretty easy for him to, to say, uh, my face is too swollen or I can't go today. So... Um, when a guy, when you see a guy really sucking it up and, and playing, I mean that. Uh, um, I mean it looks really good for for him, but it it, it also shows the the rest of the guys that what type of competitor he is, and and uh, it, it was pretty uh, courageous. Because a lot of guys notice that, right? Oh yeah, how, how, you can't really notice not <laughs> notice it <laughs> <Too laughs> in that way. <laughs> um, but again, I mean it it would have been easy for him to to come to the rink and say. Uh, can't go today, so uh, for him to come up, come in and uh, and play, and I mean that's a it's a brave thing to do. <laughs> Ping pong game going on. <laughs> Who's playing? Probably. Uh, I don't know. You guys take your ping pong pretty seriously. It's starting to get pretty serious. Yeah. Um, I'm not really in the in the ping pong right now. I'm too far behind. It just cost me too much money to learn how to play with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who's winning? Who's the best ping pong player? to say it, but it's Phil. It's been oh, really? yeah. Okay. yeah. He's good at everything. <laughs> it seems that uh, every team is trying to, or a lot of teams try and forge an identity throughout the course of the season. It seems like this team's got an identity with the speed game. Are you, is that kind of a correct assessment that this team is comfortable with its identity now? Yeah, I think uh, th that is going to be our identity. We look at our team, we're not going to overpower teams. We're not super physical. I mean, we've got some guys who play a physical game, but but we're going to be successful by skating, winning races to pucks. Um, and, and, I mean, you can still win battles with, with speed. You don't necessarily have to be the, the biggest, strongest guy on the ice. Um, and I think, for the most part, we've been doing that.